Alright, first up we'll have freshman John Gillen and junior oh, Leroy Eisler. Uh, I'm proud of you, that's awesome. Are you going to start out? Um, I'm just going to start with you, know, kind of what started that big run there. I mean, you guys were down 10 there, 12 minutes left. You guys both hit shots and things just kind of got rolling after that, right? Uh, yeah, we we were playing off the energy of the crowd, and we just wanted to win the game so bad, mostly for Ted, but just for ourselves, put us in a good, good position going into the tournament. You really, what was kind of the mindset at that point? You guys were down 10, and you know, it seemed like they were making pretty much everything they, they were throwing up there. I mean, just kind of where were you guys at at that point with, you know, the same thing ago, we've been defense and intensity, helping each other up, helping back doors, taking, taking help for others. This is defense. So, yeah. What was giving you trouble up to that point, you know, guarding them? They had to come in. They didn't shoot all that well on Thursday night, but, you know, I think they were – Hit threes and kind of get in the lane. I mean, it's kind of what was the tough part about trying to slow it down up to that four days? Transition, yeah. rotating. Yeah. Um, we, we started rotating to a bit better than we did the first half. And we held them to a bit good. Kind of a chippy game. There are a lot of technical fouls called. I mean, just kind of what's it like playing through that game and just kind of a game like that, just trying to kind of maintain focus when, you know, it seemed like there was a lot of talking going on. I mean, was that a distraction at all, or just kind of how do you guys play through that? Um, no, I mean, they stay. Yeah, you yeah. 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 yeah, it's going to be technical so weird, so late, so far. But um, we both, our team have our composure, and we stayed together. It was a distraction, but there was a miss, a miss lap from the beginning yeah. back. And, and John, how do you think this kind of puts you guys in place, you know, going into next week? You know, you, you're going into next week having won two in a row. Um, obviously, your time is probably a little bit up. I mean, how do you think that helps you go into next week? Yeah, as a basketball player, confidence is very important. And I think uh, if we saw how we could play if we stay together, and I think that's very good going into the tournament. It will really help us. Yeah. Well, you're right. I don't know if you were on Houston the whole game or not, but maybe you were, I don't know. Were you? No, oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. Second. What was, I mean, just kind of what was your guys' key to kind of slowing him down? I think he had 21 points up until about 12 minutes left, and he ended up with 25. I mean, what was kind of the key there? Um, yeah. Actually, our main focus was at him. Yeah. He did get hot. Yeah. And we'd rather let him score on the points yeah. instead of Trey Finn and yeah. Brandon Peterson. Yeah. And then uh, keep him in Did you shift that focus at all up to that point at all, or did you guys just kind of maintain kind of the game plan from the very beginning? Even yeah, though he was trying to maintain. He had open shots. Yeah. He's a very good player. He's a senior. You know yeah. how He's been in the environment before, so yeah. he's a pretty good player. But then I switched over to him. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, Jonathan.